I do understand the situation very difficult, but I learned a lot of things being on the border. And one thing I can tell you, I feel bad that we created perverse incentive for a lot of these children coming to our country and being a lot of them, this you know, smuggling efforts and invasion efforts created by cartels, they're making billions and they control in the border. But I also want to explain what's really happening there. And if President Biden didn't like what President Trump did, he needed to offer to alternative, and he offered no alternative. There is no policy of the border. What is Border Patrol? These are American patriots that are fighting for our protection of our rights and freedoms on that border. This is the people with family. This is the people that break their heart to see these children on the border. And our Border Patrol is overwhelmed that it's just un-American for us not to support people that serve our government. They are under our command. And let me tell you what we did. You know, President Biden came and said he doesn't like MPP. He eliminated it. He doesn't like Pace and Harp, price asylum claim, prompt asylum claim review. He eliminated it. He didn't like ACAs, asylum cooperative agreements. He eliminated every tool they had to deal at the border. The only tool is left is a Title 42, which is a temporary tool. It's only used during the pandemic. And during the if pandemic is over, that's it. We will have half of the world in that border. And what in the hell are we going to do as a country? And it's even the application of Title 42, let me tell you. They're applying it very differently, depending on what sector can do. And I agree with Congresswoman Escobar, we need to deal with the issue, but we have to help our border patrol. You know, as of right now, what do we have? So in El Paso sector, they, all, they, they take you know, unaccompanied minors, but they, you know, only take 101st families.